All right, all right, how you doing? You already know who it is for those who don't. This is OG Gotti. Uptown Radio, the Gotti Show. You know how we do it. We bring the truth. We expose people. We expose bigots. We also play music. But right now, I'm on some other shit. Because there are people, man, that, that think it's cool to say outlandish shit to give misinformation and to just say bigot shit anytime that they want to. Now we got Lisa Stripling. Let's start with this bitch because I I, I went down the line. <clears throat> now, she said an African American is literally safer around whites than any other racial or ethnic demographic. <laughs> FBR crime stats. They are your friend. Whites, I mean, blacks are safer around whites. Um, I think you better tell the Klan and the Michigan militia and all these other, the white nationalists, I think you better tell them that. Ask them how safe I am coming around them. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. And you may not all act violently towards us, but you definitely may say some fucked up or do some fucked up shit because you all have been in the news doing that shit lately. And you know it. There's been what well, back back barbecue Becky or backyard Becky or all the names they got for them. We just had a uh, fat ass old lady. Jumped out with her gun on some young black motherfuckers. See, that's where they pull that bullshit with. They know, they, they, they look for the weak ones and they find them. Because they don't talk this shit off of Facebook or in the hood. She wouldn't have pulled that shit nowhere else. So, you can fuck off uh, Lisa Stripling with your FBI crime stats. All that shit is fake. These sites make up fake numbers and they post them and then... They, they post them to scare scary-ass white people into voting the way that they want to uh, and, and shit like that. You did. So they make up these numbers, and they I could post FBI. I could make up FBI motherfucking stats if I want to. So that's not proving nothing, Lisa. Fuck off. Now we're down to Lee Hobbs. First, she said my IQ was low. Why? Now, hold up. Let me start by saying this, my original comment, this is all what started. I left that out. I have to be fair. There was a post. Um, there's a man that say he pushed a guy in front of a train because he was white. There was a black guy that said he pushed a guy in front of a train because he was white. And so I just simply stated a fact. Whites kill blacks for being black. All the fucking time, and they do. We just executed one for dragging, um, who was it, Charlie Bird? Come on, man. So, um, that's what started it. And so now, my IQ has to be low because I stated a fact. I mean, there, there, there's been lynchings, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Forever, forever. The, the now the cops are executing blacks in the street. So, Lee, you can fuck off about that. Then we have Sheila Shellnut. Now, keep in mind, I know some of these names may be fake because these people are cowards and they hide. They they call that throwing rocks and hiding your hands. You know what I'm saying? They're cowards. They probably work around black people and they can't say any of this stuff out loud. So they wait till they get in their safe little house on Facebook and they create fake pages so that they can spew uh, spew racist, bigoted shit out of their mouth of prejudice, bigoted shit. So we got Sheila Shellnut. She says, blacks kill blacks, and yet you have no problem with that. Bitch, how would you know? If you followed me, really, if any of these people followed me, none of these comments would be here. None of them. Because I tell the truth. I don't give a fuck who's it about. I always say, when the cops is beating these motherfuckers up, these motherfuckers can be fighting each other. They fight each other to the death. 
in the goddamn street. Yet, when some regular-ass white person comes along or the cops slap them upside their fucking head, now they crying and want to sue and shit. Fuck that. Where was all that gangsta at? I could owe you $5 and you would fucking come murder me. But a cop could kick you right up your fucking ass. See, don't get me started, Sheila. You don't know shit about me. Do not get me started. Do not get me started. Okay. Now, we, we're going down some more. So next, we have Rusty Thompson. I'm going to read his um, comment exactly as he wrote it. How Chicago working in you it for you all kill each other every day, but yet black life post to matter. I shouldn't even have responded to him. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. And one thing I want to tell white people, man, stop thinking we all see. I'm you, like I said, if you follow followed me, you would know some shit. Stop thinking we're all down with Black Lives Matter. I could give a fuck about Black Lives Matter. You did? I don't support any of that shit. I don't support anybody that's not going to get shit done in an efficient way to where we're not being compromised. We don't have to get pepper sprayed and beat up and shit like that. And we're not begging. You dig? So, until a group comes along like that, fuck all these groups. So, you miss me on that shit. Okay, so, now we got, hold up, Mike Holmes. Blacks do a pretty decent job at killing their own. First 48 should clue you in. Is it because they sold you into slavery? <laughs> I've always wondered this. See, this is the shit that they type, man. These people probably have kids or have raised kids. That's the fucked up part. Maybe they even have grandkids. That's fucked up. They let these people around kids. So, <clears throat> excuse me. First off, Mike. There's no such thing as black on black crime or any of that type of shit you kill where you live. They don't call it, when a white kills a white person, they don't call it white on white crime. And whites kill other whites, motherfucker. What, what, what world do you live in? What news do you watch where no whites are killing each other? They shooting up schools and pool parties and movie theaters and all kind of shit on the regular. And it's always somebody white. Every once in a while, it's some black dude, which I think is fake. I'm just going to keep it real. Because they have so many whites where they're like, man, we can't just keep having all these white dudes so they got to throw. Because where are these motherfuckers at now? Wasn't there a guy that did one out in San Francisco? What happened to him? Come on, man. This shit is made up when they throw a black dude because so many white people was doing it. You did first 48. The first 48... They focus on black neighborhoods, dude. Then you know this. Stop fucking playing. Except for when they're Miami, then it's Haitian, Hispanic, and shit like that. Or Latino. So come on, man. You people aren't even making sense. That's why I'm glad I had the power of communication. This show will be on iHeart, Google Podcasts, all over the place. You should not have fucked with me. I got the power of communication. Okay, so now we're going down. There's only one more guy that I'm going to address. Rusty. Alex Lundborg. He say, we kill each other and they, they just sit back and watch our stupidity. Wow. Once again, whites don't kill each other. 
I post story after story. See, I, I had to do a couple news magazines and stuff like that. And uh, all I post, uh, all you see, and like I said, I don't know how you people are missing this, but all I see is every day there's whites killing kids. They're raping them. They're keeping them in dog cages. Shot collars, and just all kind of shit. Well, are you missing this? Do you only got black people news in your house? Is that what the problem is? You only tuned in on, is, is there a hood news or ghetto news or something that you're only tuned in to? Because you're missing all this other shit that's going on out here. And that's bullshit. That is bullshit. Straight up. That is bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. Now, you people ought to get it together, man. You people have jobs. I'm, also, I'm posting this to LinkedIn everywhere. Someone is stupid enough to use their real name. And hopefully someone will know you because I post these shows continuously because I get paid off the streams. So <laughs> I post these and and promote. Yeah, check me out. Google me. OG Gotti. You dig? I'm, I'm everywhere, man. Everywhere. This show will also go to YouTube. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be somewhere everywhere. So if you didn't listen to it, you 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 missing me saying all this shit. But if one of you took the time out, I'm going first. I'm going to post the Spreaker link, and then I'm going to post the Spotify link. Um, because you motherfuckers need to be exposed, man. You running around here saying shit that ain't true about um Africans selling Africans into slavery. Are you? Fucking dumb. First off, I would never believe anything that you people say. You're liars and it's been proven. You're not going to tell the truth. I wouldn't expect you to tell the truth. You know, so I have to look for the truth in other places. I can't look for it in you. But let's say, just for argument's sake, that it did happen. I bet you it didn't happen on the scale that you motherfuckers did it. And I bet it didn't go down. I bet you they didn't know they was that the hell that was going to happen. Now, listen. Look at the slave ships. Some of these slave ships, they had 100, 200 slaves on there. You mean to tell me some little motherfucker, um, African king sold a motherfucker 200 slaves? Are you that stupid? Think about it. That would be half his tribe, if not the entire tribe. Are you dumb? Straight up. I can't believe you people say that shit. So stop saying that shit. If you're a black person listening to this, stop believing that stupid ass shit. They will say anything to 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 get you to 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 deviate you away from their their treachery and all the bullshit that they did. You did. So, I just had to expose these people. And put their names out there so people know who they are. Because I bet you, they don't want people to know who they are. Some of them, like I said, it's probably, I, I don't expect any of these names to be real. But so what? At least it's still out there. You know, if, if a Google search will bring it back to these people, I don't I don't know what'll happen, but I'm just going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep exposing people. Thank you. And if you got a problem with it, let me know. Leave a comment.